This adventure starts in Inglewood, located in southwest Florida. This area is also home to world famous tarpon fishing in Boca Grande and fantastic fishing for redfish and snook in Charlotte Harbor. On today's trip we're going to be focusing on Lemon Bay and its associated creeks and estuaries. Lemon Bay has a lot of development along its shorelines but there are still plenty of natural areas left to get away to. Once we stopped, it didn't take long to get hooked up. During this trip, I tried many baits, but the most successful bait, as it is with most of my trips, is using a three inch long white paddle tail on a quarter ounce chartreuse jig head. I'm using eight pound braid and tied to that a two foot section of 30 pound monofilament shock braid. The uh, monofilament is very important because it helps protect you from getting cut off from the sharp gill plates of snook in this area of the state. If you look at the water, you'll see that the water closest to the boat is tan, and as you get further away, it's blue. What we're doing is that the boat is positioned over the sandy area, and where you see that bluer or darker color, that's where the grass is. The Where the fish are is right along that grass edge where it meets the sandy bottom and they wait there in ambush waiting for the baits to come by or forage fish like mullet. Uh, so the best thing to do is just to anchor up over the sandy area and cast across to where the grass is and uh, hopefully you'll find somebody waiting in ambush. This time it was a nice blue fish. This guy was eager to get back in the water with his buddies. With the wind and the waves increasing, I decided to move a little bit closer to the mangroves to find calmer water. This little creek that connected a residential canal system to the bay provided a great little choke point that concentrated a lot of bait and snook. Unfortunately, they all can't be monsters. With Snook, if you succeed in a spot, try, try again. A good point or submerged cover can hold many Snook. This guy put up a nice fight on light tackle. Watch, right here at the net, the jig comes out of the snook's mouth. Shows the importance of keeping your line tight at all times. The snook is not through fighting. And now back in the water to fight another day. The rest of the day provided some great action for more snook, some redfish with some blue tails, and last but not least, some mangrove snapper. After a great day of fishing, it was time to head back to the dock to meet up with some friends. This weekend was our annual Ginu Owners Rally and we had about 60 boats in attendance. This year we were staying at the Weston's Wannabe Inn on Inglewood Beach. It was a real treat after a successful day of fishing just to come back to the hotel take a dip in the pool, and then enjoy this tropical beach paradise.
in the evening we'd all get together and have a great time with festivities including the owner's boat show with prizes going to the best and the ugliest of the show. We take time out to honor our up and coming young captains. And we wrap up the day with a great dinner and raffle. Thanks for joining us on this adventure. If you had a great time, please like the video. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe now so you don't miss the next trip.